And all these boxes is everything to take this boring carbureted Chevy 350 into an absolute animal. So what we got behind me here is, like I said, everything to convert a Chevy 350 into a beast. So what we got is the high ram intake manifold kit from Holly, along with their Terminator ECU and everything that goes along with that kit, including an MSD ignition, the Holly EFI distributor, and a ton of other parts to get this thing dialed in. A huge, huge thank you to Holly for coming through on the sponsor for this video. If you guys need anything from Holly, head over to holly.com. Huge, huge thank you to Holly for sponsoring this video. Let's get all this stuff opened up. Let's check it out and let's get to work a ripping all these stock stuff off. That means intake manifold, distributor, carburetor, and then we got a ton, a ton of work ahead of us getting all this stuff installed. We gotta modify the fuel tank. We gotta put a pump in the fuel tank because there's no pump in there. We got a whole wiring harness, ECU to install, intake manifold, all the sensors. I mean, it's gonna be a lot of work, but I don't like carburetors. It's time to swap this thing out for some real fuel injection. Here's what we got guys, Holly EFI, high ramp intake manifold, their adapter for the throttle body. We got the Holly EFI throttle body, fuel rail. We got the injector from Holly, all the sensors and everything we need. We got the Holly dual sync distributor. We got Terminator X ECU, their entire wiring harness, MSD ignition, MSD coil. Uh, we got some fuel line over here, intake gaskets, a bunch of fuel fittings because we basically have to redo the entire fuel system, throttle cable, Holly. Uh, fuel regulator, fuel filter. So this is about everything we need to convert this thing over. So let's get started. Let's get to work and I am freaking pumped guys. I cannot wait to see this manifold on the truck. One other thing I forgot to show you, they sent over a banner. Look at that, Holly EFI banner. We gotta get this thing hung up in the shop. Well, that's what we're looking like, guys. This thing is gonna look so dang good. So what we wanna do now, I'm gonna pull the intake back off and we gotta build the uh, gasket or the seal for this. And this takes just this rubber seal here. We gotta cut to fit and then we'll just super glue the ends together. And then we gotta do the same for this piece here. And then we can get that on, get the throttle body on, get the fuel rail injectors. Uh, we got the intake temp sensor, which will go in the back of the manifold here. And then we can start piecing everything else together.
Well, originally I was kind of kicking myself for moving this engine so far forward because a radiator is going to be a pain and this intake might be a bit of a trick to get to clear everything. But now I am glad I did because getting this distributor in, if I would have left it, we would not have been able to get that in. It's, I mean, touching on the intake manifold and the firewall there. So we got the distributor in, it's timed correctly. Now I gotta go run to the post office and grab my bolts. I got ARPs for this intake. I'll swap those out and then we'll get injectors in, fuel rails, and then we can start working on other stuff. So as far as sensors goes, let's go over this real quick. So this is basically converted to LS based ignition system so it's got the tps the idle air control valve here in the throttle body i got a coolant temp sensor right here i got the oil pressure sensor in the back i got a fuel pressure sensor that's going to go on a fitting on the end of the rail i'm not sure i'll probably put it off the back of this one here and then the back of the manifold has an intake air temp and then we have a map sensor actually the ecu has an internal map sensor so we're just going to use this barb fitting right there on the back we're going to run a vacuum line to the ecu it's going to be super simple and then we have o2 sensors which we need well actually we have one o2 sensor which i gotta weld in a bung on one side of probably whichever one has more room it'll probably be this side we'll weld in a bung for the o2 sensor and that's really about it the distributor is a plug and play for that harness so we don't have to do any wiring um and then we got a new coil. I'm not sure where I'll mount it, but I got an MSD coil that we're gonna wire up. And other than that, I mean, that's basically it for sensors. It's a pretty simple system. So let's get to work, get all these sensors, injectors, and all this stuff in. Well, we are making some solid progress. We got injectors, fuel rails, distributor, uh, fuel pump block off. This uh, throttle body is all good to go. We got both sensors in that. Next, what we're gonna tackle is the whole EFI system or basically all the engine harness and ECU. So this is a Terminator X, like I said, comes with the ECU comes with a handheld screen here. So this is the main power and ground for the ECU. This is the entire engine harness, which I mean, it's it's made for every sensor on here. So we don't have to wire anything as long as everything's in the correct location, which I assume it is, but we got the main engine harness. There's a couple other sub harnesses, I guess you'd say. There's a little extension adapter for the O2 sensor and then the whole harness for the injectors. And like I said, we gotta put this O2 sensor in one of the sides. So we got the bung there. We gotta weld that in. Probably on the driver's side, exhaust down here. But we'll get that in and then we gotta find a spot for the ECU. So what I'm thinking, is we'll just go in the factory spot where the ECU was originally is right up under this kick panel here so I'm hoping if we get some of this crap out of the way I'm hoping we can fit that ECU right down here and then we can just use the factory hole for the wiring to go through right there right into the engine and everything should be plug and play for that harness with the exception of fuel pump and fans and whatnot. Now one really cool thing about this ECU is it has an internal map sensor. If you're not running boost or anything, it's got a one bar map. All we have to do is hook a vacuum line from this up to the back of the intake manifold and map sensor is done. Also, it does have fan and fuel pump output. So I think one is here and then I think the fuel pump is actually 
in one of these wires here and you can run it as long as you don't have a super big fuel pump that's pulling a lot of amps you don't need to run a relay you can run the fuel pump directly off this wire so super super handy we'll get this installed and like i said there's just a few bare wires that we really need to connect some ignition right here a few outputs here and our main battery here Well, I'm liking the look of this. So we got the harness in and the cool thing about the high ram intake is we can run all the wiring in the middle of that intake so you really don't see much. Once we have all this injector wiring kind of tied up out of the way, you won't really see much wiring on this engine. So that's one really cool thing. Now we do have a few bare wires here that we need to connect. The white is gonna go to our MSD box. Black is a ground red goes to battery and the green is our fuel pump output so we'll just run that back to the fuel pump and then there is uh one i'm going to use one of these outputs here for, to trigger my fans and then there's also actually a bunch of outputs that you can configure on the holly programming so if we ever need another output for something we can tap into this but for now i'm just planning on running a fan output out of that and then as far as the inside goes we got the ecu mounted right here and that is just gonna fit perfect behind our stock cover here. So you won't even see it. I think it's about the perfect spot for it, bolted right up and then there is one ignition power and then there's a relay and a fuse on this harness inside of the cab. And then like I said, there's one more harness we need to run in for the power. So this big harness right here is our main power. So we're gonna go directly to the battery, power and a ground here and then there's a main fuse there and then that plugs directly into the ECU. Now we need to figure out the MSD situation. So we got this MSD box here and then the coil, the blaster two coil. This is pretty simple to hook up. So this is a dual sink distributor that I have. You can see it plugs into the harness. We already have that plugged in. The white wire from that harness, like I said, will go to the box and then power ground. There's a tack signal that we can use. And then we already have switched ignition from our old coil. And then the orange and black go to our new coil. So should be pretty easy to set up. Let's find a spot to mount the box and the coil. I did get that coil mount. Hopefully we can use that. And then we'll get this harness all plugged in where it needs to go. And we should be really, really close on wiring. Well guys, we are making some great progress. We got obviously all the intake on, fuel rails, injectors. The wiring is about 99%. We still have to loom it all, but I do want to get it fired up before we do that. And then we got the entire fuel system to do. We got to figure out the intake, the cooling system, 
which the intake's gonna be pretty tight, but I think I got a plan for that. And then we gotta mount the battery up and get everything fired up. Now all this drivetrain is kinda just temporarily installed right now, so we need to go through everything. We don't have any oil in the engine. We need to do a bunch of stuff in the next video to get this thing fired up. And then we gotta jump on the Holly uh, little handheld device. I think this is basically how we set everything up. I mean, obviously you can do hook it up to a laptop and do that, but I think we can get it started at least with that handheld device. So we're gonna figure all that out next video. I'm gonna wrap this one up here. I know it's getting long, I'm very, very excited, but we still have a ton more work. So we're gonna cover everything else in the next video and we got to get it fired up in the next video and like always guys if you want to check out any of this stuff i use the holly high ram intake the throttle body like i said fuel injectors fuel rail uh plug wires the terminator kit all this stuff i'll have everything linked down in the description box for you guys well anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video once you go smash that thumbs up button comment subscribe we'll catch you in the next one